When I was starting out, I kind of came, I, I did my uh, army service as a radio journalist, actually, and I covered uh, the West Bank in the mid-90s. And coming out of the army, I uh, kind of didn't really know what to do with my life. And uh, at that point, I read a book, a book by the famous science fiction writers Isaac Asimov and Frederick Pohl, but it was a non-fiction book called Our Angry Earth that dealt with environmental problems. And I realized that this was going to be, you know, the major issue of the 21st century. So I started uh, studying that. I started uh, studying politics and economics in university and getting involved with an organization called Green Action, which was uh, taking direct action in order to uh, stop environmental injustices and destruction. At that time, it was mainly around the construction of the Cross Israel Highway. And through a combination of those, I kind of realized that the domination of nature by humans is intimately connected to the domination of humans by humans and that in order to achieve a sustainable society we also have to achieve a more equal society and so I became uh, quite strongly politicized then I went to Britain to do my PhD studies and got very deeply involved in uh, so-called uh, alternative globalization movement and uh, attended a lot of protests and direct actions as well as uh, participating in ongoing uh, positive projects like uh, community gardens and social centers and that really made me realize that we can create another world today. You know, Decision-making circles that there was basically no limit to where I think in order to come to the Arva Institute, the people that we get are already very special people, committed people, people who aren't just interested in, you know, making a career and making a lot of money, but in contributing to making the world a better place. And the experience of being together, you know, Jews and Arabs, Israelis, Palestinians, Jordanians, Americans, forces students to encounter uh, different cultures and encounter their own uh, mental constructs, their own uh, stereotypes sometimes, and, and question a lot of what they may have come in with. Um, and it's a process that I think contributes a lot to uh, creating the kind of person that will go on and make the world a better place.